type yung babi. <laughs> Faceless Void. <laughs> Alright. Uh, level of Dagon to get this solo kill at this percentage, and I'm just like, alright, purge. That's enough of that. The battle. Uh, meanwhile, at the top roof spot, there's gonna be a fight. Cogs will go through. Jarek is gonna roll boulder right in, and then actually just take the battle group, but meanwhile, they will get that skewer back in from Arise. But the body blocks coming through from S4. The flux is up. Still more body blocks. And really, Arise can't do anything. The Forge is dead will come out. Maybe too late. Great very far the rolling motor. Hits perfectly from Jerax. Nicely done. G-Rax getting the first one. Lost. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ooh. That was nice. They body went quiet. He goes down. My lord, that sword did a lot of damage. But the Rolling Boulder both set. Shikuchi's out to the north. He might stay alive. The tower will hit him again. As the Seals Goo is up, and No Tail will turn to chase Mulan instead. He's got two stacks of the Goo. He's continuing on with the, of course, the close race. I don't think he can really kill him here. He's going to turn around with the Decay, and Mulan's just going to back up. There's not really enough damage to bring down that tanky and dying. He's peacing out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, very common item choice for the Weaver and something Bone 7 will more likely move into as we get through this game. This bottom lane is really where the action is happening. Another Decay coming up. The Swarm should hit onto No-Tail as well. Bone 7 has to be careful. The Illuminate did hit him in the face. He will back up to South. Stalrip almost bringing him down. 30 HP, 14 now. They need one more right click and Bone 7 dies for it. He's got four wand charges. Shikuchi is back to three. The Illuminate isn't going to hit him in the face. It will. 50 HP. The South goes. He goes down to the creep of the tower. Nice play. He does die. He does get that kill, but it is a one-for-one -one exchange when it's all said and done. Went too hard. Meanwhile, Jerex goes for the rolling boulder mid. Oracle actually finds the kill on the clock for top lane. They rotate up and they get something done here with the help of 3 3. Interesting stuff. pretty well. He has the performance field as well, so he can obviously take a lot of that right click damage coming out from the Dark Warden. Or hope to deny himself in the meantime to get a quick trip back home. Bone 7 taking the... Right. Lane, our seek is rotated in, purifying flames, fortune damage as well. No tail, he does have that one point in the bristle back. Still up the purifying flames, the new damage is too real. Milan and Oracle will walk away. Mark Warden is doing pretty well for himself. He has the ring of players here. Skewer mid lane, Jirax actually polar smashed him, and the Skewer came right after, which is really weird interaction, but now Rice is going to turn. Tries to get that RP off of it, he does. He get off the Fate Zedic, but he just has to run with it. Hookshot cuts him from S4 from the north. He's going to try to get out the shot, but Battery Salt will go, and now RC is going to be next. Underneath that tower, trying to do what he can, but he gets blown away, and polar smash comes again from Jirax, and it's more than enough damage. It's under attack. Yeah, that just turned things right around. It was really even up until that point. There's almost a 2,000 net worth advantage now after that. You can see the net worth graph just jump up after that fight, too. No tail diving a little too far. However, Bone 7 is taking a lot of damage. He will not get the time lapse off. Oh, the Illuminate game is the perfect time to fly. He was not expecting it for Bone 7. And now Milan will fall next. The silence comes out as well. And the close phrase will finish the job. That's depressing for Bone 7. I just feel like. It's under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Top lane, it looks like S4 now gonna be in trouble. Three threes on using Chrono Spear, but the shockwave comes through. Arise is able to pick off that kill. Um yeah. Come on, getting crushed mid lane. 
by Jerax coming through. And again, they will secure Jerax back to the tower. RP, and this might be a kill. No rolling boulder. In fact, it will be. They'll at least get the trade off and arise. Very important. They should have the Chronosphere up and ready. And they do with 3 3. Not only that, but they also have the RP. No blink dagger for Arise. You have to be getting closer and closer. Here's the hook shot. Find it to the Kaku go. Time walk out. Will they drop the tombstone? Looks like already a magnetized going out. Mode 7 in trouble. A lot will be next. He doesn't even have tombstone. I spoke too soon. He's only level 6. And he will get false promise, but he will inevitably die, it looks like. It's going to be a 1 for 1 trade. 2 for 1 a moment longer here. They don't get the purifying flames off in the line. He will still heal himself through the sword, but looks like it's stay alive. 3-3 three, three is going to turn with the Chrono Spear. He might have to use it defensively here. They'll turn to the clock if they get a time lock match. The Chrono Spear will go. Gets pushed back with the boulder smash. Still can't get enough damage done. Now he has no time lock for two seconds. Still might be able to make it out. The Cogs actually blocked the rest of his team from getting there, and 3-3 three, three is going to make it away. It's one of the most hectic fights you'll see. Now Arise in trouble. Still has an RP in here. Comes no tail. Fly with him, not with mana. Arise cancels that RP. Now he uses it. He'll bring it down onto the bristle back. He's still doing okay. Rather take it, they will bring down that magnet I believe. And this talent stop both him. He'll try to scoop you away. No time walk, time lapse available. And the earned charge, he has to salve up through it and stays alive just barely. Oh my, who might still go? S4 is looking good. He's got another hook shot ready. Milan gets pushed back. He will certainly fall. Hook shot doesn't pick. Both of is under his century. He has time left. He gets relief, but I know I said Solar is really good. That doesn't mean you ignore the stone entirely. Yeah, he I literally like, has not leveled it. There's no way that's the correct play. <laughs> He's gonna pop flesh gold, and it's just like, oh, by a tombstone now, this might work out well, but then he just dies immediately after. Ugh. Okay, so Soul Rift used to be an ability that was not valuable to level up past level 2 because the number of units required to make use of it was like so... It was like up to 15, 20, and that's just unlikely. Yes. Soul Rift has more value now, but... 7 dead. Uh, he should be. Yeah, no time walk. I, I'm gonna get Keeper of the Light. No, no. Meanwhile, they do pick up the Orc and Malevolence for, uh, for Arc Warden. What do you feel about this fight and pick up for the Arc Warden? Uh, I think it's... Magnificent, it just means that he's gonna have even better fighting potential. A mm -hmm. um, little bit surprising to go with the travel first, but eh, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of fighting going on in this game, and OG are gonna win the game through fighting right now. Yeah, so. people are right. It's 14 at 7 at 16 minutes in, and they are still fighting. Look at No Tail. He's just right out in front, looking to get his Echo Saber. He already has his Vanguard, as we talked about. Milan is out of mana completely at this point. He is gonna get Fate Phoenix, so he might be able to stay alive. Mm -hmm. so, meanwhile, they will get the ball from his top to bone seven. He will barely stay alive for the time being as he's already he still has the time left for it to go. Good chrono spear, but still two are about to fall. Kai P will both lose uh, bone seven as well as the Oracle. Not only that, but three three after the chrono spear goes down, and it's 60, but it's in a big call. GG. That's it. Um yeah. <laughs> I fear <laughs> or something, alright. That is something. I mean, what do you say? What do you say about that game, really? OG played really well. That's what you say, bot. Definitely.